Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. There has been a seismic shift in the landscape of YouTube golf, and we have to talk about it. There are some massive things that have happened. We're going to break into it. We're going to get into all of the news. Right before we do, I got to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, my homies over at Birdie Supply Co. You guys already know the towels I use right here that stick onto your golf clubs all nice, and when they get super dirty like this, they just, they just unbutton, boop, and you can just throw them right in the wash. Now, they love this channel and they love you guys and they want to support this channel but they also want to hook you guys up with one of these towels they know how awesome their towels are i know how awesome their towels are and they want to incentivize you guys to pick one up and try it for yourself literally the only towel you're ever gonna need hear me out on this they're doing something wild i have to read it because it's so crazy that i can't even if you go to their website right now and you use code nate golf n-a-t-e-g-o-l-f linked down below and you buy two towels you buy two towels right two amazingly priced towels Literally will last you for the rest of your golfing career because you can machine wash them. Amazing, the magnet, awesome. With two towels, you're gonna get two boxes of golf balls and four bags of golf tees. That's enough golf balls to last some of you an entire round, some of you an entire year. And it's also enough tees to probably last most of you an entire year. Like that is a lot of golf balls. And you're buying two towels that you need, that you want, that are awesome. And you're gonna get two boxes of golf balls and four bags of teeth. So if that doesn't blow your brain and just convince you to just go down, hit first link in the description, check out their website and snag up these awesome towels. Like this is one of my favorite products I've used since I've started like golf, the golf channel. Like it's just such an amazing like little thing I didn't know I needed in my life. So check them out. Um, finally, I know it was neat. Do all this stuff at the end, Nate. Get to the news quicker. If I don't do all this at the beginning, nobody sees it. And then you won't know who won the Gold Lane giveaway, which I'm telling you right now. Congratulations, Ricky Page, you handsome devil. Name on screen. Great looking display pic of yourself. You've won yourself a pair of Goat Lane shoes. All you have to do is send me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to verify it's you. I'll get you hooked up with Goat Lane, and they're going to send you whatever pair of Goat Lane shoes you want. So congratulations. If you guys are enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob the Sports, the most dominant, well, one of the most dominant brands in the YouTube golf world, at least the most dominant up and coming brand in the YouTube golf world right now. They definitely have all of our attention. They have been doing things that have added a value to this YouTube golf community. They have been creating content that's different than what was already out there. Everything from their food challenges to more relatable golf that uses comedy as a cornerstone and less so about the golf. It's more of an entertainment channel. They've had all of these things that have made them so unique and made the rocket ship of Bob Diz Sports go to the moon. Recent collaborations with Good Good, upcoming potential collaborations with Rick Shields, this channel's awesome. I love it. You love it. We all know it. I do not need to give the double wrister every time I talk about them, but I do anyways because of how much I love it. But today marks a pretty big day, in my opinion, in the YouTube golf landscape because Bob the Sports, to this point, they've had a very similar value prop. They've had something that has been unique to them, but has been very sort of, I don't want to say one dimensional because that's talking down on them because they've been innovating this whole time with it, but it's been one thing. It's been the comedic side of golf. The actual golf, the quality of the golf content has rarely ever been the focus, minus the matches, maybe with like a Max Homa, but even then, it's still more about Max Homa's good golf. And the, the FP versus series. Episode one came out the other day, played Keegan Bradley's caddy, Big Wave Dave, I believe is his handle. Incredible. The FP versus series is everything I hoped it would be. I watched this video last night, transfixed to the quality of golf happening. Golf quality, that is equal to a match you would see on Garrett, Micah, Good Good, whatever. Any of those non-professional golfers, like take Luke Kwan out of the equation, any or take you know Wesley Bryan out of the equation, any of the like YouTube golfers, the high-level golf YouTube golfers that we talk about all the time, which is the value prop of top end good good stuff, Grant Michael, whatever. If they go play matches, they're hovering around even par, right? They're hovering around maybe one, two under, maybe one, two over, even par, something like that. Now, spoiler alert, uh, this is, I'm going to talk about the results of this video. So if you haven't seen it, click off and go watch it. This video finished at even par, tied up even par, but there was jumps back and forth. FP at one time was two under par. You had battles, you had hits, you had, you know, back and forth, both players playing amazing golf and showing a side of the Bob Does Sports brand that we haven't seen. But of course, what makes it uniquely Bob Does Sports is it's FP playing, who innately has comedic value. He was also joined alongside by Joey and Bob. Although they were not playing, they were there as like sort of commentators, show, sort of like adding that bit of like entertainment on the side, like Joey running up and down hills to get clubs for Big Wave Dave, and Bob just kind of having commentary on the side. Like this was every bit as good as a Bob Does Sports video, for similar reasons, having the comedic value, but also this just like new edge of like, I'm actually paying attention to the golf. It's not just 
just like hosel rocket, toey ball, like ground and roll or whatever. That's not, I'm not trying to say they're, it, it, you know what I mean? Like you're more, you, you're oftentimes, if when it comes to the golf, you're more laughing with them at the missed shots, you know? It's not like Grand Micah where you're like, oh wow, that was a cool shot. Like FP hits his bunker shot that's like below his feet from 75 yards, nips it, the thing zips back like 10 yards and he's like three feet from the hole for, for birdie after getting into a pothole bunker off the tee 75 yards out from the green. Like, there was some incredible golf being played here, but every bit as, you know, comedically entertaining as their normal content. This shifts the YouTube golf landscape because Bob the Sports already was this rocket ship for their kind of individual value prop. But now with this FP versus series, they've added in like a quality golf component to some of their content, which also branches them out, right? Like they're still gonna be doing the food challenges. They're still gonna be doing everything else they've been doing. But now they have this arm of higher quality golf. He's gonna be able to collaborate with Grant, with Micah, with all these guys, challenge them, play, you know, maybe even pro golf with a couple strokes like it's 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 awesome man this was one of my favorite videos on youtube golf in a long time it's one that i watched from the start into the end and i loved it man so if you haven't seen it go check it out it's awesome bob the sports you guys are i love it i love to see it and i will uh maybe see some of you in scottsdale who knows all right i'll talk to you guys later have a good one